Cancers, welcome in guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another tarot reading with myself, Joe. Before we get started, guys, if anybody is wanting to book a personal reading with me, then you can absolutely do so. Uh, do check the description box below where I've left links and details of how you can book one. Uh, also, if the reading resonates, please do give me a thumbs up and feel absolutely free to subscribe if you haven't done so already, guys. So let's get into your reading, Cancers. Your first card is the King of Wands. Then we have the Page of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Lovers, Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. So straight away, I'm, I'm very drawn to this pair here, the King and Queen of Wands, which is fire energy there. Aries, Leo, Sag. Now there's lots of love and emotions going on here. Lots of passion, lots of emotion. And, and as I said, um, love. Starting with the kings, the, the king of wands, sorry. This is very much the go-getter energy. And I want to say it's very, it's it's acting upon passion. This is pure passion. In the energy of passion, this king of wands is, regardless of any star sign, because you don't necessarily have to be, you know, in connection with anybody else. This could this could be the energy that you are in cancers but the page of wands is very much a passionate person and if even so pages represent very much young energy so i want to say cancers that you are feeling it's like young love here however we got this queen of cups so um there's three counterparts here that's very clear that we've got the king we got one king and two queens so it's it it's somewhat looking like it could be a third party situation. And, and if that is the case, there's a lot of love and a lot of passion held for both parties here. Because we have the lovers and that's something that can't be broken. It's almost as if you're not going to let go. But at the same time, there's this mutual energy here as well. Okay, so... It could very very well mean that this is a third party situation and you're finding it hard to make a choice. And just there's so much love, there's so much passion for this these two parties here. And it, yeah, that it, it could be very difficult for you to leave either one. And I don't think that there's any plans to. We shall read on. Two more. Know about cancer situation hang about we have the high priestess four of cups and the emperor clearly in reverse guys so with the high priestess and this is aquarius energy this is somebody who follows her intuition but more so i want to say the queen sorry the high priestess is known to keep keep secrets yeah so keeps a lot of things to themselves as i said it's it's hard for you to make a decision a decision i don't think there's any plans to make a choice or a decision on just being with one party here it's more the energy of i'm just going to keep this to myself and you know, but perhaps you have been trying to make a decision and, and it just can't be made. Okay. Something it's like it's your your emotions are out of control. The emperor's in reverse, and that's a very significant card there, because the emperor is like a boss card, somebody who takes control, who likes being in control, delegates, that kind of person who you know is quite good at decision making. So the fact that the emperor is in reverse, it's telling me even more so. That it's not something that you're willing to do. It's not something that you have much control over. Pretty much your emotions are all over the place at the moment. We are going to clarify that emperor. It's bugging me in reverse. Why is the emperor here in reverse? We have the eight of cups. I'm just going to get one more. Wow. Okay, looks like I have that two, three more. Okay, there we go. Uh, we got the Eight of Cups, Page of Wands, <laughs> Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. As I said before, this is a lot of passion, a, a, a lot of emotions. Again, we got the Cups and the Wands. So it's like a lot of passion, a lot of emotion. 
okay one one person may just have like really good sex and the other is really good at like I don't know, like motherly them, that kind of thing. It's showing emotions that taking care of, understanding even your emotions, Cancer. So it's like these two people could balance you out in some way. So it's hard for you to just, you know, stick to one. Um, although we have this, put pages down for a minute. Although we have this Eight of Cups, which um, it, it shows somebody walking away from something. I don't. I feel like you could be cheating yourself out of something good then. You're not walking in the direction of your Ten of Cups. You're kind of just staying at a place that feels comfortable. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's okay. Because there's lots of secrets held in this. You're over it. Not making a decision. Not not doing what the universe is asking you to do. And you could be distracting yourself here. With the Emperor being in reverse. It's distracting yourself with work. Okay, and this is purposely done like taking on a lot of work so that you don't have to deal with your own faults even. We are reading on. We have the Hermit. Lots of major arcanas today for you, Cancer. Queen of Pentacles. It's a lot lots of counterparts. I feel like this is someone's mother, then it's like going within. Perhaps you've had some advice because this person, this queen of pentacles is quite stable, quite grounded, quite in control of um, her emotions then. So in that sense, they could be guiding you in some way and, and perhaps telling you to take a step back and not to, to indulge in um, two different things. OK, that could very well be the case. And if that is the case, you're keeping that even to yourself. This is like share, hush, hush here. Like I'm telling you what's your advice and the advice more than likely is to go within. Take a step back. It could be a Virgo. The Hermit energy there is Virgo. And we also have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Six of Wands. And that does represent a small victory. It's like being successful in some sort of area. Perhaps you are feeling a little bit more successful around this person here. This Queen of Pentacles, this possible Virgo even. Feeling like you're getting somewhere emotionally. There's lots, there's lots of emotions, lots of feelings scattered. Mm. So, um, just to know, is this a third party situation? That would be nice if you could tell us, Taro. Here we are, we have the moon. Secrets again. We have the moon, we have the death card. So, clear transformation then. It's like something comes to light for you. And I definitely feel like somebody is guiding you and showing you something here. Yeah. So, something comes to light, perhaps gaining a new perspective. Perhaps it, this all comes out, whatever you are holding, a secret cancer comes out, okay? And, and, and causes a transformation or better, um, some say better yet, or even an ending, yeah? Either either something's about to end after this news is revealed. Whatever this secret is, that is going to come to light. There we are, the tower. It's something that can't be even avoided. Okay, as much as you are trying to block yourself um, when, the, when the tower comes, this is literally the hand of the universe saying as much as you want to run or you try to run or try to ignore what you have to do, we're going to force you to do it because you're not listening, you're not paying attention to the signs, you're not even paying attention to what your own soul is trying to tell you. So yes, when the tower comes, there's, an, um, there's not really much you can do other than deal. Yeah, so it's like, boom, this information comes out and there's auto transformation that just happens back back to back very very quickly i'm gonna move into your outcome here what is the outcome for dear pencils we have two of pentacles we have a page of swords we also have the nine of cups and the sun card, big Leo energy there. <laughs> but yes, with the two of pentacles, this can very well be indecisive energy. But then we've got this 
page of swords again so perhaps okay because the page of swords is like a spy card you know the page of swords watches and pays it's, it's almost like they're spying on you pay attention to to action so i feel very much so that cancers after this uh tower moment that comes along here you are able to see more of how you were acting in this situation how indecisive you were and how important it is okay this can be a clear wish for you perhaps you didn't even know it. it's like okay this was very much needed it's like an eye opener no matter how bad it got or how bad it looked how how, how bad people may have felt you're able to see the positive side of it that's really powerful so I feel like everything kind of comes crashing down and then boom, you kind of see <laughs> the light. Because with the sun card, this is the happiest card of the deck, okay? It's so it's so much joy and happiness. So all it does end well, but I, I feel like there are some bumps in the road that you may have to undergo to get there. Eventually, you will see why you have to go through all of this. Um, and, and please do apply it to your situation because I could be reading... Um, I could be reading it as you and it's not this is your person so you know please do apply it take it as it applies to you cancers we shall move on to your oracle cards and let's see what the oracle has to say for you today Oops. all right okay we have you are unlike anyone else your contradictions and complexities are interesting and perhaps that's a new side of you that you are now able to see clearly. We also have Orca Magic. The Akashic Libraries are open. Absolutely. I definitely feel like you are able to see more. Um, it's like you're awakening more to your spiritual side. Okay. It's like a clearing of old energy even. And in comes the new. Perhaps you are unlike anybody else. But... Um, your complexities are interesting all the same. CS yes, Cancers, uh, that has been your reading. As always, please do take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't, and do not force anything to fit with your situation, guys. Um, yes, have a wonderful day, and please do remember that tarot is for your guidance, and it is entirely up to you what you do with the guidance. It does not replace any medical or professional advice. And with that, guys, have a wonderful day once again and take care until next time.